on today's show. Apple Watch Series 6 noted in YouTube tags for September live stream. Eighth iPhone, iPad, TV and watch OS betas released by Apple, Goldmasters on the way. A14X chips for ARM Macs going into production in the fourth quarter of 2020, says DigiTimes. This is the Apple Daily. I'm David for Living on iPad and I simplify Apple so that everything just works for you. If you want the latest Apple news, leaks and rumors every weekday at 12 UTC, click like, subscribe to the channel and ring my bell so that you don't miss a thing. And if you join that notification squad, you will get a shout out at the end of the next video. Just let me know in the comments. First, the shocking revelation that Series 6 is noted in the YouTube metadata tags for the September live stream. So just after Apple announced uh, the September the 15th event, there was a, a video scheduled for September 15th as well. Um, that is available on YouTube. It's showing the kind of title screen and everything. So you can see that the video is coming. You can kind of set a no notification in YouTube that will let you know as soon as the video is available and uh, going live. Wonderful. Now, somebody has been very, very clever and uh, got into the tags so they can see using something like vidIQ that we all use, um, they can see the tags that are included. And so this huge revelation that series six is one of those tags because the leaker that mentioned this, Mark Gurman, um, specifically was the one that retweeted it that I noticed, um, wanted people to think that this is an event about Apple Watch. That's why he picked that one out. But also the other metadata that's here, the other tags are Apple, iOS, iPhone, Mac, Apple Watch, Series 5, Series 6, iPad, iPad Air, MacBook, iMac, MacBook Pro, Fitness, Wellness, Illustration, Apple TV, Digital Art, AirPods, Apple Event, Apple Keynote, WWDC. It's not WWDC, so these tags are basically irrelevant. It's anything about Apple that we've put in these tags. September Special Event, Apple Special Event, Apple. So... I feel like we've learned nothing from this. I don't think anyone was not expecting there to be an Apple Watch announcement. I think we're all pretty confident that that is coming like it does every September at the uh, September keynote alongside the iPhones that everyone seems to still be insisting, apart from Talos of Tech, well done there, Drew, that uh, we're not gonna be seeing iPhones. I still think we will. My enthusiasm for that, my, my thoughts on this are just becoming more reinforced. And I really, really hope we're right because we'll be one of the only two or there'll be a handful of channels that have kind of reported on this as well. They're gonna tell us about the iPhones. Eighth version of iPhone, iPad, TV, and watchOS betas are released by Apple. Are the golden masters around the corner? So once again, Apple has released new versions of their new software for this year to developers for testing. This is the eighth version. We are getting close to actual releases now. If we have got the event next week, it could well be that we get the Golden Master about this time next week, just after the event. And then the final versions going live possibly on Friday of next week, uh, which would put that at 18th. We'll go with the 18th. I've checked on my fingers. Possibly on the 18th of September, we might be getting the full versions of iOS, iPadOS, watchOS and tvOS. Now, there's no confirmation of that, but it would make sense uh, that they would be dropping that. We have heard rumors already that uh, iOS 14.1 will drop when the actual iPhones hit, or possibly when the iPhones Pro hit, if they have specific software features that need to be enabled by a software update, which is absolutely fine. That is more than likely going to be uh, camera-related stuff if the LiDAR sensor is as we expect in that iPhone 12 Pro but I genuinely think we are gonna be seeing the iPhones, as I said, at least announced, if not shipping at the usual time on the 15th. A14X chips for Apple Silicon Max going into production on the fourth quarter of 2020, says Digital Times. So that's basically the end of this month. That would also line up with the fact that we do not, do not expect to see the Apple Silicon stuff at this September event, but more likely in an October event. I do think we're gonna get two events this year, but I don't think the second one is gonna be for iPhones. I think the first one is gonna be mainly our iOS stuff. So I think we are gonna get our iPhones. I think we're gonna get our iPad. Um, I think we potentially will get the iPad Air running the same chip as the iPhones with the A14. The regular iPad, the, uh, the iPad 8th generation, that would be running the A12 processor, which I really hate the idea of. I would much prefer for the iPad Air and the iPad 8th gen to combine into one 
cool iPad that has an up-to-date processor in it, but that's not what the rumors are suggesting. So there we go. That's that's our uh, that's our situation in which we find ourselves. But in addition to the other sort of accessories that will go along with iOS devices like the AirTags, potentially AirPower and uh, Apple AirPod Studio, which will all get the, those quicker updates earlier on um, alongside things like the spatial audio that's coming to the AirPods Pro. I think we will also be seeing a later event in October. I don't think it will be particularly later. It might be almost exactly a month on, maybe on the 14th of October. And that is when Apple will be dropping some Apple Silicon goodness. Now, this report is mentioning A14 chips for Apple Silicon. We don't expect that many of the Apple Silicon Macs will be using an A14 chip. This might be just the MacBook. Um, we do think, I keep saying we, it's just me. I do think that the MacBook Pro is gonna have a more powerful processor to it. And I also think that they're not gonna be called A series processors for the Apple Silicon in Macs. I think it's gonna have a different name. It's not gonna be an M processor because that is the motion co-processor that's in the iPhones. Uh, it's not gonna be a U processor because that's what's in AirTags um, and used for precise location data. The H chips uh, tend to be the ones that are used in AirPods and audio equipment. So what letter do we think we're gonna go with? We've lost M, which is what we thought we might have. Maybe they might just go straight for X. So it's actually the X2 chip or something along those lines. I don't know, it needs to sound cool. Um, maybe it's the X14 is what they're gonna put into, uh, into the Max. But we will see at the moment, they're just being produced. They probably haven't even got the uh, names stamped onto that silicon at the point of production. But fourth quarter, we're gonna have stuff by the end of the year and I'm very, very excited to see what Apple Silicon brings in terms of performance. Okay, it is time for Notification Squad. Thank you so much to everyone who has rung the notification bell on my videos. Uh, two new members today. So we have Siva Madhav Chinta. I'm hoping I've got your name right. I'm so sorry if I have not. And also, Josh Martin, thank you very much for adding yourself to the notification squad. I would love to see more of you in there, but today's call to action is not about notification squad. Today's call to action, because I get so many comments from you guys down in the comments of these videos saying, I can't believe you don't have more subs. And I absolutely appreciate those comments. I really, really love uh, that you're enjoying the videos that is the main thing and i'm really glad that it's not pointless and just me screaming into a void about apple things but my call to action today is not about notification squad if you do it you will still get your shout out let me know in the comments so that i can do that but what i would love for you to do is please take one of my videos one that you've really enjoyed and share it with someone share it with directly with someone share it on a social media platform um, because I do put a lot of effort into these videos today, less so because yesterday was an absolute monster of a video and uh, there wasn't a lot of news left today. But I do put a lot of effort into them. I do do quite a bit of editing. Each of these four to eight minute videos probably takes me three to four hours to produce, which is upsetting. Uh, we need to uh, strip that down a little bit and make it a little bit more efficient, but it's gonna happen and I just want to keep making these videos for you guys and it's so encouraging every time I see your comments down there so I want to thank you all but if you are one of the people that thinks to yourself when you see the channel uh, I don't know why this guy doesn't have more subscriptions you can help give me a share and I will appreciate it forever and let me know where you shared it down in the comments and that will make me a very happy man thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again tomorrow